shall see, we shall see, we shall see. Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of Witchy Knits. I'm shy, I am a witchy person and I knit and I do other crafty things like sewing and sometimes embroidery and art and general witchcraftiness. The, the lighting is worse than ever today, I'm really really sorry but um, yeah, I, I've tried to put a blanket over the window and it's, it's just super bright today, it's super bright and pretty cold so um, yeah, everything is really bright. I'm going to see if I can do something about the ISO thing. Uh, maybe that's better? Yeah, let's go with that. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I am back today with another episode on knitting, really. I haven't done anything else than knitting this week. Um, got a bit more spunk than I did last week and yeah, um, it's been good. I've, I've gotten stuff done. Um, I, yeah. Uh, we went to see Grindelwald last week on Saturday, if you hear <coughs> sounds in the background, that's my Persian cat Elsa washing her feet, I think she's, yeah, she's washing her feet, um, that's what makes that sound. We went to see Crimes at Grindelwald last Saturday and that was really good. I'm not going to spoil her anything, um, just if you were thinking about going to see it, do it, it was, I, I liked it. Uh, maybe it's not for everyone, I don't know, uh, but I liked it a lot. I'm, I'm on a bit of a Harry Potter kick at the moment, so <laughs> there might be some Harry Potter crafting uh, soon. I was gonna, um, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just do whips at once, because it ties in with that. Um, I said I had cinema knitting last week, and <laughs> well, I did get some rows done, I think I did a couple of stripes, but that was during the um, commercials before the movie and I just put it down, couldn't pick it back up, I got that involved in the movie. So, uh, but I finished the first sock, finally got the white yarn I was waiting on, um, there's a cat in front of me, are you going to sit in my lap, are you not, no, uh, I got the first one done uh, except for the heel which is going in there later. Um, I think I did like that much maybe that day and then I just did the rest the day after. I'm fairly quick with knitting these so I did get a fair bit done during the commercials plus the commercials in movies in Sweden uh, I don't know what it's like anywhere else but they're like super long. I think it's it's about a quarter of an hour or something of just like movie trailers and general commercials. Can you please not sit there? Oh! The cone is gone, which is fantastic, but he's um, he's a bit like, ah, today. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, yeah. Um, I did cast on the second sock yesterday because I got the yarn for the toe yesterday, so I didn't get any. Um, couldn't finish this, so I did the toe, um, yeah, I did the toe yesterday and did this bit during yesterday's raid in World of Warcraft, because I knit and tank raids at the same time, because I'm that kind of a nerd, but yeah, I got this uh, bit of ribbing done, so I'm soon going to start the, the body of the sock, like the cuff. Um, hope to just swoosh right through this one so I can do the next pair. I don't have a lot of yarn left of that one but I've got a whole other ball of that yarn so we'll be all set for that. So that is the, um, these are on 64 stitches, size 2, these are my Knit Pro Zing needles, uh, size 2, um, Milli size 2 millimeter, size 0 US, I think it is, I hope. Um, but yeah, they live in my Teddy's Knits bag that you've seen before. It's that one. 
that's that's that sock. I didn't get a lot done during the um, movie, sadly, but it was good, so I don't mind. I mean, have have I gotten like the rest of the sock done? It would have been not really worth going to that movie. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, my next whip is another one you've seen before. Saving the um, the new whip because I've got a new cast on this week, but I'm saving that one for for last. I'm still working on this one. This one hasn't seen a lot of work since last week, but I got one one like bubble section done while waiting at the vets the other day. But yeah, that's uh, the bubble sock that I still don't have a name for. I'm still still taking suggestions for name, but um, I can finish the toe on this one as soon as I free up a pair of two millimeter needles um, so because both of them are occupied in socks that's the uh, bubbly snow sock I yeah still taking name suggestions for this one then it in the fiber fox sparkly sock yarn in the Christmas colorway that is called peppermint creams looks like this in the cake it's really pretty, I love this, and it's sparkly, it looks like it's like frosty and it's just gorgeous. I love this sock, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Lives in my self-made project bag, um, yeah, that's that one. Uh, why am I rushing today? I don't know why, I think, I think it's because I'm like excited to talk to you, unless, like, unless unlike last week where I was like yeah I really want to do this but I don't feel like sitting here I don't feel like talking to anybody today so uh, it's nice <laughs> feeling the mojo but like my new cast on for this week is a mitten these are um oh no I forgot to check uh what, what her name is the one that's made the pattern I'm just quickly gonna go on Ravelry and find it but these are, the pattern is called Rigmors, Rigmors Selbu Mittens. Um, I've got the uh, second one here. I'm going to put that one as well. But I've gotten this far on them. They don't have thumbs yet. So they're like thumbs up. Perfect for that right now. But um, uh, mittens, Selbu Mittens. And there we go, projects. Um, Rigmor Selby Mittens by Rigmor Dune Grande? Grande? Uh, I, I'm guessing it's a Norwegian person and I don't speak Norwegian but um, yeah I'll put the name on the screen. These are the mittens anyway and they are super fun to knit really and super quick. It's on DK weight yarn. I've got them here. Uh, they're from Pandora Hobby, which is like a um, Scandinavian hobby, like Hobby Lobby or something like that, Michael's-ish store. They have their own brand of yarn, and that is off their in-house brand. Um, dropping my kerchief all over the place. But yeah, these are, these are the Rigmors Selbu Mittens, and they are super fun and super quick and easy colour work mittens and they turn out really thick because like obviously since the colour work and it's DK weight so it's like pretty thick because you've always got like two two layers of yarn in them um, and it, this one oh no don't cat right there trying to eat the yarn uh, knit this one within 24 hours and I did that much like the whole cuff the same day and that yesterday I wasn't as focused yesterday on knitting this especially since I got the yarn to finish the um, other sock so I like dropped it and then I couldn't sit and knit all evening because uh, we were raiding in uh, World of Warcraft in my guild so um, had we not been raiding also do you like this stitch markers it's just a paper clip because <laughs> that's the one I had at hand but um, <laughs> um where was I um, had we not been raiding 
this would have been done and I would have been needing to do thumbs today but yeah mittens I think this is my first time knitting no it's not I've, I've made um these uh, Lovica mittens once before in like sewing class in school but uh, other than that I have knit about a ton of fingerless mittens uh, I love making fingerless mittens but uh, because I use them a lot more than I use mitten mittens but it's getting really cold and as we were doing the groceries uh, the other day I like I can't I can't use my hands when they're cold. I can't hold frozen things, like taking things out of a freezer. So like taking things out of the freezer, I can't hold it because my fingers just hurt. I I get so cold and I can't I can't even do this and it just hurts like the whole skeleton thing in my hands, the bones, they hurt. So I realised that maybe I need to wear actual mittens more when it's cold so I don't get like problems with my fingers when I'm not that old so mittens and yeah I haven't done a lot of colour work and I think these are turning out a lot better than the Octa socks so I think I'm getting the hang of it and especially like the second mitten is looking a lot better than the first one so I think I'm going to do more colour work mittens after these and I'm definitely going to do that because I've still got the book uh, the 35 mittens book that I talked about like two weeks ago um, and I'm still looking to do some mittens out of that one so yeah it's fun I like these they are super warm and comfy and yeah I hope to get a lot of use out of these so yeah mittens really happy with those. Um, they don't have a project bag to live in so they're in my yarn bowl. Uh, I don't use the yarn bowl for these but I store them in there so <laughs> that's that and that's that for my whips this week so yeah um, FOs. Notice anything different with the whip section this week? Notice anything different about what I'm wearing? I finished the shawl but it's small <laughs> I thought like it took ages because you can see it's, it's really 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 broad like it doesn't even fit in the screen but um, it didn't block out to be super like tall I can stretch it out to be so I'm, I'm just gonna block it flat like this I think and just get some get some more shape out of it like fold it in half and just block it out to as tall as it can get but for now it's like it sort of turned more into a kerchief thing than a shawl but it's looking really oh it was I was showing you the wrong side sorry it's looking really nice though and I like how the stripes go with like the shape of it and it's pretty pretty warm and it's nice for like indoor use but I'm gonna have to block it again and try to get the um, shape right because uh, yeah um, pretty sad about how small it was because as you saw it was like that broad and it took forever to do just one row I was on the phone with uh, Sebi the other day and I was knitting on this one like determined to finish it which I did within the call but um like one row took several minutes like I think I had a couple of breaks in in the first row I did on it and it was a pearl row which tends to take a little longer than knit rows for me but um it, it literally took like five minutes and I'm a quick knitter so yeah um it was time to get it off the needles i couldn't have added more yarn like to the width of it even if i wanted because that would have just been torture and it would have never gotten done and i would have frogged it but next time i'm making a shawl i'm gonna look for another pattern it's like it's not a bad pattern at all but 
both, both times I made a shawl out of it, they've gotten just too small and I want big shawls, really big shawls and this was a lot of yarn. Oh well, what to do? I mean I can wear it, it's fine and I'm, like I said, going to block it as well to get the shape right. Just, not just like the width but the, the height. So I think it's going to be fine but a little bit bummed actually but it's all right it's pretty i like the colors and it's it's um, not too hot to wear indoors so i can wear it just fine but yeah that's my one fo for this week i think yeah it's 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 my one fo for this week i was hoping to have a pair of socks done but not this time and yeah um, mittens if I'd had the evening yesterday they would have been an FO but they're not so there's that for future knitting though got my trusty bullet journal with my notes like I said we watched Grindelwald on Saturday and I'm like super 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 on a Harry Potter kick and I want to make all the Hufflepuff things. I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> um, I think that's maybe a bit obvious but yeah I'm a Hufflepuff and now I just want to make like a, a house sweater and a house scarf and like all the things. Um, there's probably gonna be a pair of Hufflepuff and a pair of Gryffindor socks on my needles soon. Uh, David is a hi hi hippogriff. No, he's a Gryffindor. <laughs> my my fiancé is not a hippogriff. <laughs> but yeah, no, that he, he wants some Gryffindor gear as well. Um, so I'm probably going to make him a pair of house socks and I'm going to make myself a pair of Hufflepuff socks and a Hufflepuff sweater when I can get around to buying a sweater quantity. Um, but yeah, as I freed up my needles from this one that I needed to cast on a sweater, I am now ready to cast on a sweater. So I think I'm going to do just that as soon as the mittens are done, just because I don't want four projects lying around at the same time. So um, I'm going to show you the yarn I have for that. Um, got quite a lot. Uh, I don't know if. if Right, okay, no, I'm going to dig up the skein. Um, eh. There we go. This is the small skein because I've already balled up some of it. But um, this yarn, I think this is small skein, should be. I have two skeins of this and they still carry the same colour. So I'm going to go buy another one and see if... It is actually the exact same colour, otherwise I'm going to have to alternate skeins. But um, this yarn, which is uh, DK, I think. Um, it doesn't say how many metres it is, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, like, it has this tiny tag, and it only has, like, the yarn brand's name. I think it's local, and... Yeah, it's it's... I'm pretty sure it's local and small scale but it's super nice it's not scratchy it looks a bit scratchy but it's actually super soft and yeah I've knit with this before like details and socks and stuff and it's really really cozy so this is gonna be some sort of um, I can wear orange right I think so this is like a sweater yeah um so yeah this is going to be a sweater i'm going to buy more of it but i've got some lying around this is the tiny ball uh, i've got more so i'm going to start that this week and it's going to be fun super happy fun times um but yeah that's that's that one and this has been lying around in my stash for probably three or four years because we originally bought this along with a, a bottle green, of course, yarn. Because David wanted a pullover, like a sleeveless pullover thing. But he's since fallen out of love and out of, like, that style. 
so I can now use this for me. Yay! <laughs> uh, so, because we never got around to making that one because he could never decide on a pattern and I didn't know about Ravelry at the time, so um, yeah, it's just been sitting around and being used in small projects like for um, contrasting toes and heels and DK weight socks and stuff like that. So it's it's finally going to get some proper use and um, it's going to be a jumper for me. I'm really happy. Might add some colour work details on it. We shall see because I've got still got a bunch of other DK weight like scraps. I've got a bunch in this box that's like for me to use for whatever I want to use it on. Yeah, here's another skein of that. Uh, there's a bunch of yarn in here. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's obviously not going to be a house sweater for Harry Potter. It's just going to be a regular... might actually make a cardigan. We shall see. But because I think this is more like a cardigan colour so you can open it and have another like black shirt under or something. We shall see. But it's going to be a garment for me, which is fun. My first one is going to be, so I'm excited. I'm really excited to do that. Other future things? Um, yeah, right. <laughs> I was going to have uh, an embroidery uh, whip this week. That didn't happen either because it just didn't. Um, need to get a move on with that. but. Uh, that's going to happen. That is going to happen. Also, I'm going to try and dye some yarn. I've got undyed yarn, like I said. I've got two skeins. Oh, well, one and a three quarters. Because I pulled up a bit of it to use as the contrasting toe on the Christmas sock. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to dye some yarn. Um, this is, oh well, I, I'm just going to go into stash enhancements because I already brought up the stash, stash box. But yeah, these are the ones I got in the mail. Uh, this one I've already stolen some from, but I'm going to keep this as it's for now because you never know when you need some contrasting white yarn. But this one I am going to try to dye. I uh, don't know what colours or anything and I don't know uh, I'm gonna try to see what I have and what I can get with it and it's probably gonna be some sort of food dye situation with like white, white vinegar and stuff because I don't really feel like bringing in any any harsh things in this house at the moment but um is, I'm, I'm really excited to try it. This is a fingering weight yarn which is uh, 8 to 5 extra fine merino and 15% polyamide and it's from Create with Adlibris. Adlibris is, well was, uh, it's now more than that. It's an online bookshop um, that also sells craft things now. They have like a cooking section I think. They've got yarn crafts, they've got all sorts these days. I don't think they've got any art supplies, but they've got yarn and they've got a bunch of different bases of undyed yarn specifically for like DIY. So, um, oh well, obviously it's also for knitting like as it is, but it says on the label that it's DIY yarn for dyeing and it's labelled as that as, like, as that on the website. So, um, and it's really, really nicely priced. And I was so prepared for this to be like super scratchy or in like bad condition or like whatever. It, I was prepared for this to not be good. But we shall see how it takes to dye. It might not soak it up at all. We shall see. But I'm excited to try. One thing I did notice while caking some of this is that that might have been like just that part of it because uh, I've only made a tiny ball like that size so uh, but like within that one I had 
uh, a loose end so I had to magic knot two pieces together of, of the skein but that might just have been there um, might not be in the rest of it we will see as I work with it but I don't think that's going to be a problem honestly so I'm really excited about that I've never dyed yarn before but I am excited to try and do that like for my own use I don't plan on selling any um, not yet at least because obviously I've never done it so I'm just gonna try and play around with it and see what I get and see if I can get any like fun coloured socks or hats or whatever so yeah got these yesterday and instantly made a toe and yeah really happy with that and it's really really soft it's like I just want to hug it it's super soft I hope it wears well too but it's got quite a bit of nylon so it, oh well polyamide so it should be okay we'll see we'll see how it goes but yeah um that's that for like the knitting related stuff as you s right the cats are chasing each other um, everything is like <sighs> as normal with the cats. You saw Cheddar for a, for a short little bit earlier and the cone is gone! Finally! I'm so happy! Uh, we got to take it off on Tuesday and he's still on medication because he's got like some sort of dermatitis thing going on and he needs to eat medication for that so we give him a pill every other day and we are going to see like how low of a dose he can go on without starting to scratch himself to bits again so uh, that's nice I'm really happy for him and it's good to have my cat back because he's been so sad and it's been like almost two months of wearing that cone and like on and off because we've taken it off it's been okay for a while and then he's scratched it to pieces again so I'm really happy it's really nice and and he's he's really happy though I spent this morning cleaning hairballs because he's obviously not been able to wash himself and he's been like catching up on that to ridiculous extents um, <laughs> So he's been washing himself non-stop since we took the cone off because he's just so happy to be able to do it again. Um, but yeah, um, that's what happens. It's alright, I mean it's easy to clean, it's just a bit gross, but yeah. So yeah, uh, this week except for that has been a bit better than last. I'm still really exhausted but as might be a bit obvious from from my energy this this episode is um I'm feeling a little bit better I've, I've got a bit more spunk and um yeah <laughs> I'm getting tired now because I've just like ah, all the energy all the fun stuff all the knitting talking and now I'm just like ah, I'm ready to sleep now <laughs> I was brutally awoken by by hairball puking so um yeah but I'm still like exhausted on a, like an emotional level and mentally so um yeah it's it's slow but it's all right I think it'll get better and uh yeah um if I look down it's because I've got my notes and I don't want to forget anything <laughs> I wrote down um uh, yeah, uh, thrips, the thrips situation with my plants, um, they are better, I hope. Um, I found two thrips, both yesterday, since, um, since giving the Provado sticks, so I hope it's working. Um, I did a bit of a Google on what sort of, tri of thrips it is and the only thrips that the Provado sticks apparently don't work on are like the American flower thrips I think they're called. I don't know what they're called in English but that's what we call them in Sweden. And those aren't the ones we have, so, luckily. So it should be alright. I've just got to keep an eye on 
things and toss anyone that looks too sad um any one of the plants um the, the persons in my head so they're anyone and everyone and like people <laughs> i've got a, a few that i haven't given the sticks because they're edible um i've got one spider plant left in that window and that one is for the cats because spider plants are fine, fine for cats to eat and i've got my, like the geraniums are edible and especially like the tiny one here that you can't see at all but i've got one there which like which is like a nutmeg um nutmeg geranium <laughs> uh one of those like perfume geraniums and they've got like smaller leaves that you can actually eat and as well as this one which is a dr vesterland um like not this one but it's behind that one and i'm really sorry you can't see anything at one point i might do a plant tour um when everything is settled down and everyone's healthy again <laughs> but um yeah i haven't given them any because i don't want to poison myself or the cats we shall see if any of those need to go into quarantine they will have to go to quarantine or if, in case of the spider plant it will have to go <laughs> so uh it's going to be fine i hope my christmas socks for raf arrived and they fit and i'm so happy i don't have pictures but i'm really happy because they fit and he's like happy with them and, and doesn't want to take them off so <laughs> i'm pleased with that uh yay octa socks so yeah <laughs> Things are good, oh well, Th things are as they are, but like, things, things are good, so, um, yeah, I'm going to probably wrap this up now, um, and go edit, and have another cup of tea, and then I am actually going to finish the mittens, I think or possibly the socks we shall see um i've said that a lot of times this episode we shall see we shall see we shall see um but yeah a bit less makeup today and <laughs> now i'm just bringing up small talk because i don't want to end it because it's short but like a bit less makeup because i'm giving my skin a break i wasn't even gonna do this but i was like yeah i, I wanna i wanna have a face well I do have a face without makeup but it's literally just eyeliner and eyebrows which are made with eyebrows I know my eyebrows are made with eyebrows my eyebrows are made with eyeliner look the cone the cone is gone sorry shut that belly 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 oh belly 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 you go there that's that for today i think so i'm um, yeah like i said going to wrap this up and edit and yeah go knit something so i've got another fo to show you next week um yeah totally forget to mention sewing but i want to get some sewing done and i haven't yet and i'm going mad because i can't this house is so small and so crammed I can't set up the sewing machine anywhere for longer than like 30 minutes and in order to be able to even do that I need to clean everything and move things to another place so that it piles up. Oh, God, it's a mess. Um, we don't, it's like someone else would say it's, it's not messy, there's not things everywhere that's just me being like I want things to be like super minimal I like having, like, I collect vintage My Little Ponies, they're up there, I'm going to show you, there, hello, and I've also got more ponies in the other room, um, but they're like, ordered into shelves, so that they're like, they're not a clutter thing for me, they're like, a unit of pretty things that I like and the same with like this yarn box I have my stash box is like it's one box it's not clutter it's one box that I can stash away where I can't see it and that's what I like doing with everything like um, either like in a nicely ordered shelf for like the ponies or other collections or like 
or books in bookshelves obviously or art supplies and stuff in boxes in in like drawers and so that you don't have to see it all the time because it drives me insane to have things on tables and like not being able to do anything anywhere and I just want a dedicated sewing table that I can like you know like these old computer tables where, where you had like it's it's like a tabletop and it's um legs on one side and then like this box shaped thing with a drawer uh where you put like the pc <laughs> i want that so i can just put the same machine in the pc thing and have like threads and stuff in that drawer uh, and then also being able to use it like for drafting or cutting fabric or drawing or whatever but we can't fit it in this house because it's tiny I'm, I'm going insane here um i am grateful to have a roof over my head but I, I want a bigger roof but yeah that's that's a bit of a rant from me <laughs> ah god i hope to to have more space soon um but yeah uh, that was a tangent on, uh, like from me being wrapping things up and going to edit to like oh space but, <laughs> but yeah now I'm going to end it and go edit and yeah knit something so I have an FO for you next week so <laughs> I hope you have a I hope you'll have a lovely week and a great weekend and you knit something fun or make some other crafty project that you want to do uh, or start something new cut something fun on and I will talk to you again in a week bye